Virginia Tech's campus is bustling with students on their way to class. It was good to go home and see our families, but campus is the best place to be, I think, right now. It's been four months since 32 people were murdered on campus. This is the first time the university is back to full speed with 26,000 students. The community in this place is real nice, so it feels real good to go to class right now with these people because they're real nice people. These engineering, so science, and mechanics PhD day. students so were the first people back inside Norris Hall when it reopened. Normally, before April 16th happened, you know, this there's all these people, there's all the students walk in, and the staff are here, so it felt kind of. Uh, different, I must say, and, you know, a little uncomfortable. They're working on projects ranging from turning wastewater into electricity to finding a material to store hydrogen in carbon nanotubes so it can be used as fuel. Dr. Ishwar Puri heard every shot Sungwee Joe fired inside Norris Hall. Puri's office is just feet away from where 30 students and faculty died. There are some who are deeply affected who remain deeply affected by these events. And for them, there are anxieties about working in Norris Hall. Dr. Puri said in his department, only two students have requested to not have to come back to Norris Hall. And that's out of approximately 3,000. Up next for this campus is to find out what details emerge from the investigation led by a panel appointed by the Virginia governor. But not everyone here is looking for answers from that fateful day. Some just want to keep moving forward. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Blacksburg, Virginia.